So this little fly is something a little bit different. Um, it's a cross between two very, very popular still water, sorry, small still water flies. Um, one is the, the pinky, um, hence the bright sort of cerisi pink colour. Um, the other is the Arps blood worm. Now, the pinky I believe is Freddie Bainbridge's and good fly it is too. And obviously the Arps is um, Peter Appleby's which is sort of known the world over now. Um, so this is a little take on that and it's got a little face on it and those eyes are a little bit of a trigger so it's nothing new but it's a play on a theme and one that works so hence hence I've done it. Um, the colours as well, I really like the colours in this one. Um, now obviously if I just grab my, my Harko pliers, this is the other one that I use. Um, so there's the the olive one, golden olive. Um, now you see that's tied on a barbless hook. I'm tying this one on a, a normal hook because most people have it. But this is a barbless. This is my favourite barbless hook. This is a a Hanak 230, and that's a size 10. But you can see it's the same, basically the same profile um, as the the pink one. Now, we've not really got a name for it, but because it's sort of buggy looking appearance, um, looks a bit like a toad at the front, I'm going to call this one Toady McToad Face Worm. How about that? So let's go ahead and tie it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll put a, a hook in the vise, and this is a hook that everybody will be familiar with. It's just a, a standard wet fly, size 10. Just make sure I get that in the base straight, Stephen. Size 10. And I've got here Glow Bright Floss. And I kind of see the number on that. I'll put it up with a tie in. But it's a bright pink one. No, what's bright pink off the top of my head? I can't remember, but I'll put that up with a tie in. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie on, just get a bed of floss there. I prefer floss when I'm tying with um, Spanflex, um, Squirmy Wormy, um, Flexi Floss, which is what this is. It just sort of it holds the fibres a bit better. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a, a bulb. So you, know, you can, if you want, go all the way down. Um, it just means more applying more um, cure a resin to it and this is one of the rare times you'll see me tying with a resin however I'm kind of being sold on it um, I'm still a great big fan of varnish I much prefer it to most things but for this one we've got varnishes eh, varnishes sorry resins gulf resin just make sure I didn't go over the eye there so I'm just getting on a, a big bulbous area like so and I've got this really bright pink um, cerise proper in your face pink and what I want to do is I want to take like a an 8 inch length of that so quite a long length and then just double it over so you go both lengths the same size and then we've got to tie that in on top of the just make sure they're the same length and then tie that in on top you want about an inch and a bit out the front and an inch and a bit out the back. Just tie that in there nice and tight. Like so. And then just come over everything, keeping the wraps nice and neat. As neat as you can. It doesn't get much simpler than this really. Just a couple of materials. Obviously we've got to put the, the cure on. So that's that. Now when you're dealing with this stuff, It'll want to wrap around the quick finishing tool. If you create a big enough triangle, see my triangle there? Create a big enough triangle, so a small triangle, big triangle. The bigger the triangle, the more it's going to fit through it. And I'll stop it getting tangled up there and just finish that on my side there. Now, what I do here is I take both the rear legs and the front legs up 
no stretching. Actually, I need to show you this this way, don't I? And then I want to come in with my scissors. You can't see that, but basically it's giving me an inch either side. Inch and a bit either side. And as you can see, two legs at the front, two legs at the back. And now I come in with some Gulf Classic Resin. Now you can't, I've got a little sort of dubbing needing tool here that I use. Um, you can use a toothpick. And just come in, stick a nice blob on there. Make sure you have plenty. Let it settle. And then just coat. Take your time. And coat. So you've got a proper little ball. Coat that side. See how that's looking. Okay. And coat my side just a little bit more. Just make sure you've coated. You've got a coat and all of that there. Looks nice and smooth and even. Any lumps and bumps you can take off with yours. Should I quickly check that? Yep. Get back in vice and then blast it with your UV torch. Quite bright in the eyes that. Now I've heard a lot of horror stories about um, UV torches and people mucking up their eyesight. So a lot of people have been using them um, dark glasses for time with this stuff or at least when they're putting the torch on now whether that's true or not I don't know but there you go that's him done as you can see we've got a lovely beautiful smooth body now we've got to come in with this stuff give this thing a wee shake just make sure that all the the colours are mixed in there and when you're dealing with this stuff I'd suggest you have a little bit of tissue to hand for the top and all you're going to do is you want a little blob, you'll see the actual size of the blob that comes out. I'm just checking this against my thing there. So you'll see the size of the blob that comes out. The only best way to describe this is eye size. And then just like that. And the same on the other side. Just a little blob. I'm just going to turn the vice slightly here. And again. Like so. So all I need to do here is in with my UV torch again. And hopefully you can see that Toady McToad face worm. This looks the part. You know, um, just really, really like them. Let's take that out of the vise here and stick it in there. The hackle pliers. Can you see them? So that's the the pink one, and this one, which I like on a. I tend to tie these in barbless suits. because I tied it on a, a normal hook because most people would have it. But this is one on a, a barbless hook at 230 BL. So your normal one um, with a barb, I'd use a, a standard wet fly size 10. And for the barbless one, I like this Hanak 230 size 10. So there you go. The two flies there. Hope you enjoyed that and uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.